Well, this is Escape from My Apartment Countdown, day number eight. We have uh, exactly 23 days left before I move into my new apartment. Sending the information regarding my income and permission to do like the credit check. So we'll see what's happening. And then I'm right now what I'm focusing on is got to make the money to pay the rent. So this Saturday I worked a job where I brought in about $100. Next Saturday, this Saturday coming up, I have another job that I'm going to work that should bring about an extra $100 in. And then also I'm doing like another side project where I'm going to be building low-level lead generator funnels for people. So I'm going to charge about $300 to $400 for that and then use that to apply toward the rent. So based on my budget, if I do it correctly, I should be able to start paying myself $640 a month. And then I'm going to take that money and apply it to the business that I'm building. And as you know, as of this year, I got my student loan. In August, I got my student loan below $39,000. So now I'm going to make sure I at least pay like $1,000 a month on the student loan. And if I can get it below thirty-seven, if I can get it below $35,000, then... I'll be ready to take another Vegas trip where I have a business convention coming up in February. So before I get to that convention, I'll have uh, at least a thousand dollars saved up for our next blackjack adventure. And yeah, those are just a lot of trucks passing. I thought I'd find a quiet area, but now that everyone knows I'm getting better, to, better, better in filming, they all want to be in the movies with me. What can I say? So the topic of the day is just like make sure you just have that extra money i want you to find out how can you generate an extra hundred to five hundred dollars a month just you can use it if you have to use it but i want you to see what kind of confidence that builds for you because when i check i got a check last week for 252 dollars i feel like i got a check for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars because now i made it easier for me to pay that thousand dollars on my student loan Knowing that, hey, I still have money to eat. I still have money to go out and like maybe buy one beer a week. So that's what that confidence does. And then that means you don't have to rush off to work and you know you're getting, you have a stressful day. But at least you know when you go home, you have a little bit of cheddar. You have a little cheddar. You know what? I'm having a bad day. Let me go to Starbucks, recharge. Hey, I'm having a bad day. Let me have $2 to buy a Coke. Because I remember during that Great Recession, I would make $20 last three or four days. And I remember when the gas was $5 a gallon, I'd be like calculating to the, to the penny. Okay, I can go 15 miles or 20 miles, and that'll cost $16.51. Have you guys ever done that? that? I mean, I remember like going in there, you're like, okay, what can I get to last me in the supermarket? Let me try the rice a -roni. Let me try the macaroni and cheese. Let me, what am I going to do just to stretch the meal? I mean, that was just a miserable four or five years, man. So now, I mean, I got like an extra $50 in my home hidden just in case there's an emergency. I go to my security box. Boom. There's that $50 bill. At least if I need be, I go to the restaurant. Hopefully it's not counterfeit. I go to the restaurant, get me something to eat. I mean, go to the supermarket, get something to eat. Oh, yeah, go to the restaurant. Hey, can you break this 50? Just give me $20 worth of Big Macs or $20 worth of Carl's Jr. So with that confidence, it's just, you know, you're not just working for like, you know, you want to just make sure you have more money at the end. of It's just like I have bugs here. I have trucks coming by. I'm like, oh my gosh, is there anywhere quiet in this world anymore with technology? But do that this week. Find out, instead, if you find out how can you get $100, and if you don't have it, put like $500, piece, 500 pieces of paper away. Pretend that's that money, and let me know what confidence that builds.